Okay, 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 okay. Traders, yes, it is another weekend. It is another time and it is just the time for me to share some updates on gold as usual. So I'm going to provide updates for the coming week. And now for those who have subscribed to this channel, I'm sure they have uh, profited from the updates that I provided. It was on Wednesday, I think it was on Wednesday. So it was just for, for, for two days. My update was based on two days and I promised that on the weekend I will provide the another update on the gold and everything has worked well uh if you have not watched my video you can go there uh on this account and watch my video uh talking about uh projections uh in those two days now it was on thursday it was just for thursday and friday for only two days now and everything has worked very well i talked about this level 1871 I talked about the 1871. You can listen and hear it in my fourth minutes of this video. Now, in the fourth minutes of this video, I explained about the price moving strongly to uh, the level of 1871. And specifically, uh, looking now, uh, you can find that the price is exactly around that area, 17 something, 18, 17 something there. So it was a very nice, nice projection. So you can watch that and then, um, uh, keep on watching this because this one is just a continuation of what I already said there. So now, uh, starting with maybe weekly, I can start with the weekly time frame. So on a weekly time frame, I remember, uh, last week, weekend, I talked about those two candles there. I talked about those two candles with the rejection, uh, one from rejection from the upside and the other one with the, with just the indecision thing. So I said now, having those in the indecision candles, uh, when the price is going to open to a certain direction, it will open very, very serious, very strongly. That's why, I will have seen this week now, uh, prices started with the rejection to the downside and then, uh, it has opened strongly to the upside. And always I said that, uh, we, and I think it was just in the four hour or daily time frame. I said that the price is building a bullish momentum. Uh, for those who are watching, uh, every series of my videos on weekend, I'm sure they know, uh, what I already said on my previous videos. So looking this, it shows that we have now clearly, uh, built a bullish momentum. We have already built a bullish momentum so it is clear with what i already said so moving to daily time frame maybe now in daily time frame everything is beautiful in daily time frame everything is beautiful and always we see this very powerful uh bullish in uh in a uh, in yesterday candle and now this was uh supported with some news there yesterday friday we had some news there so those news they supported that uh that move and always it has provided us with a clear direction of the of the next move in the market and now in addition to that you will find that this week has got several news now it has got very 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 uh, very serious news we have things like uh call ppi they are very serious we have formk now formk they are very very serious so uh we expect to have a very very powerful move we have fed chair powell speaks there and always this is very very powerful on things like uh on things like gold so we have to expect a very serious move so if you you are going to gauge with those movements uh actually you are going to be profited so uh let us see the exact direction of the market now my pro my projection for the coming week now so as we go uh maybe in four hour time frame now i have very few things to share i have very very few things to share there my observations are very very few have got very few things now looking on what happened uh here always maybe uh, i want to put my accounts there in order to share this so remember uh when i was analyzing on wednesday i was uh, i had this projection there a green arrow to the downside so i was expecting price to move and always since last weekend i said price must move at least beyond the previous uh, swing low now this low even this one so price has done exactly uh this has done the same thing it was this one now uh has moved the beyond that previous swing low so after moving beyond that previous swing low it was when uh it taken off so basically i can provide exact labels of the whole structure here because i was unable to label it and always it is just like a principle uh don't label corrective structures area before they are uh, clearly completed if you are going to do that you will find yourself that you are wrong nine times out of 10 so it is just like a principle so now um i'm able to label this and this is looking clearly as a w x 
y now it is clearly looking like a w x y now it fits into this uh, based on all the rules and guidelines now based on all the rules and guidelines it looks like a w x y because it has got the first thing which was just an a b c and then it has got the second thing now this has got the first move it corrected to the upside then it has got the second move so even this one is just an a b c to the downside so this is a clear w x y so having this clear w x y uh, this move here because we already had those one two three four five uh, in a previous move and then it moved in that way in a corrective mode so this strong move to the upside we expect this one must uh, must move to a length that almost now uh, now we, we need that correlation now this must almost correlate this next move must correlate with this uh, previous move so we are looking for equality and above this may take equality and beyond equality so if we are looking for that we can measure a fibonacci extension something like this a fibonacci extension so you will find that extension of one is somewhere there extension of one is somewhere there and in this region is very very serious because it has got certain levels of structures there in the previous now there are certain levels of structures in the previous and at the same time it is within a fourth wave so it is something which is very serious so we are looking for price to move at least to around 19 something now 19 something 19 19 something in this current upward move it must go to around 19 something 19 something so this is a very serious projection so now how it is going to get there how it is going to get there and how we are going to go with this move so basically as i have presented this key level there this key level and the price it is within that key level so basically we are look we are going to look for the uh the structure now around this key level we're going to look for structure around this key level we're going to look for a corrective thing uh either if market is going to create things like uh, zigzags if it's going to create things like triangles uh f for for price action traders i think they know about the issues on the flags so we're going to see if price is going to to do something like anything now in any way now if it is going to create a flag thing so it it will push it strongly to the upside so we need to see frag th frag thing around this level but for earlier 12 traders we are going to recognize the structure there exactly if it is going to be flat the zigzag or anything else but for other people they consider it as a flag thing so we are going to look for that flag thing thing and then the price is going to push up uh to push up very strongly so this is my observation so going to two hour time frame maybe exactly you can see what is already happening there uh so you'll find that our uh, momentum is fading out now the upward momentum is fading out so it's going to fade up fade up fade up then it will correct it to certain levels after correcting to those levels then it will take off to the upside so let us look for that and this is a very very uh uh mostly thing uh, uh something that is most, mostly likely to happen uh now in the coming week so thank you for your time it is just my projection for next week so subscribe and then like this video if you like it then you can put comment if you have any suggestion and make sure that you share this video with other people in order for them to have uh just this uh this projection uh, that is going to help them in the coming week but make sure that you add your own analysis now you have to add your own analysis because uh you have to supplement the things what i'm saying here is not uh, something that is a principle maybe this is, it must uh, it must happen no we, you have to add your own analysis if you find that uh, they are going to gorge with what i'm saying here so actually you have to stay with it so thank you for your time and have a good weekend